So hello everyone, I'm starting the call now. What I want to show you today is uh, how to create, first how to create, uh, uh, how to create um, reports again, but uh, parameterized reports. So I'm going to show you how to create parameterized reports. Let's open the R studio and let's, 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 Try something. Many of you are from academic field, and from academic field, actually, this is not something that 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 that. Uh, can you see my screen now? I guess you can. Yes. We can see. Good. In academic field, you do not need these parameterized reports so much, but but you definitely can use these in in business in uh, in uh, when you when you finish the uh, finish the university and uh, when you when you go out to do some real work with ours and then this is something that is extremely useful things that i'm going to show you so starting from again let's create file new file and r markdown file new file r markdown File, new file, R markdown. Let's give it a name, something, I don't know. Session nine, I think it is already, is it session nine? And- No, not sure, but I think it's session, session nine only. Something like this, well, I, I created this session nine, this, this, this R markdown document. And now let's delete everything from the SAR markdown uh, from the first from the first uh, subject or topic. So I created an empty R markdown document. And what I want to show you now is how to create parameterized reports, how to how to automatize everything. So I am going to so file new file R markdown, and then delete everything inside apart from this all setup include faults about this this top top of top of here and i'm going to 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 do create so parametrized reports i'm going to name it let's save it for example session 9.rmd control s save it and 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 um, and let's create some kind of uh, mock document here. I'm going to give me a second, as I have not prepared this lecture well. I'm a little bit embarrassed about this. Then I'm going to. Where did I? Then it's it's going to be a little bit. A little some things are going to take a little bit more time. I lost my so so you remember there are marked on the basics, you know, to create the first level of 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 uh, first level of uh, headings, then it's one hashtag, two hashtags, second level of heading. But what I want to do with you now, let's let's uh, uh, let's uh, let's add here in this top 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 part. You see the top part where it says says title, author, date, output, and this is what is called actually yet another markup language, YAML part. Let's create here. Let's add one more one more thing here. Let's add. Params, colon, new line, two spaces. You need to have these two spaces here. And let's say, what should we do now? Let's say gender, colon, and male. Like this.
No, that's add an alt chunk. So to, to, to remind you how to add an alt chunk, it is control alt E. To add an alt chunk, press control alt E. Or the other option to add an alt chunk is, is to, to select this green, this green button here and R. And it adds this R chunk into the code. And let's load in Piak again. So Piak is read.csv. I'm going to copy it to the to the chat in a second. Now, this line loads in the Piak over the internet. I'm going to write it into the chat so that you do not make any, 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 any mistake. Then let's save the PR into the, into the, in, if you write control enter here, then it, it downloads it over the internet. Then let's save the PR, for example, write CSV, PR file is PR CSV, control enter again. And then let's load it again. So read CSV, uh, the arc CSV, sorry. I'm going to cop copy all of this code to you. I'm going to copy all of this chunk to you. So what I do right now is that I download it. Then I write it to your, this directory where this file is. And then I read it in again. And then after you have control entered it, control enter download it, control enter to write this, control enter to read it in, then let's comment out the first two lines. So after you have you have written it in, into your into your home directory or this directory of this project, then let's read it in from from the home from this directory already because then every time you click knit every time you click knit it does not download it anymore it, it just reads it in, in from your from your computer now uh, what we are doing right now is parameterized reports and we have we have we have defined one parameter that the gender is male. We have defined this parameter here. Params gender is male. To access this parameter, this is done like this. So let's say that I am going to write into a gender params dollar gender. So I'm going to create a new data object gender, which is I'm going to write this parameters dollar gender into this. And now let's do some, let's do some again, control alt T, control alt T to create a new data set, to create a new R chunk. And let's create some, uh, some, um, let's, let's do some magic here. Let's say that, that the arc, uh, Gender is ah oh, first we need to load the library so library tidyverse and then after after library tidyverse let's write piak uh, I don't know what to do with piak uh, subset is filter piak and gender is equal to gender is equal to remember it was two equal signs. So in Piak, there is a there is a variable called gender, and I want to be it to be equal to this gender that I created here. Maybe I should have let's 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 do it a little bit differently. Let's so that so, so that it could be it would be a little bit more comprehensive. So uh, gender selected and gender is here, gender selected. So you see what I did, I, I wrote this gender selected, I renamed it so that it could be gender selected now. And gender is gender selected. This comes from these parameters. 
which we have defined that gender is male. Now I'm going to write some text. So we have selected gender. Now this specific this specific uh, apostrophe R and gender selected and dot. If you do not find this specific uh, specific uh, this uh, apostrophe from your keyboard, then just copy it from here. Copy it from here. R gender selected, and let's knit it. Does it show the same things like I do? Does anybody have some problems? Write in chat if you have some problems. That it should tell you now. So we have selected gender male. And now let's let's. Uh, am I being too quick a bit? Maybe I'm 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 running a little bit ahead of you. You are all with me now. Yeah, you're good. Okay, good. So now let's do some 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 graphs. So to. I am going to add another uh, chunk here. Uh, did you, William, uh, did you do this? Did you put this on the top here? Params, colon, then two spaces, and then gender may, William. This is the most important part here, that you add this to the top of the top of the file. Uh, okay, so I should leave two spaces. Two spaces, yes. This is, you know, when R is R is itself, it 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 doesn't care where you put the spaces or not. But this is yet another markup language, YAML, YAML. So you, I, I will write it here. What it is? This is uh, this YAML, YAML header, and this is very very specific about spaces and stuff. Okay, thank you. Let me do that. Yes. So. Two spaces and gender is made. Thank you, Doctor. So, uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do a graph. Now, to remind, first of all, we don't want this library tidyverse. We do not want this that it shows you this att attaching packages and so on. So one way to remove it is remember it was here from mod modify chunk options and then to remove this show warnings and show messages and then apply. But if you go back to the very top of the top of the code, then you see there is this knitter option chunk set echo is true. Let's put echo is false, comma. And then you can add here what you add here. These are true for all the following following things. So this message is false, warning is false. Let it put it here. Message is false, warning is false. You see here. So these are the default parameters from the for the R chunk. So if you knit it now, if you knit it now after setting echo faults, message faults, and warning faults, then it does not show you the 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 code anymore. It does not show you the warnings. It does not show you the messages anymore. Because usually when you write the reports, then you do not want to show them. Okay. And it just shows, shows the text that you have written. Now, let me create a graph to remind you how to create a graph in R. It was starting with ggplot, what data we want to use. We are going to use this PR subset data now. 
data is PIAC subset. This, uh, this, 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 what we, this data objects that we created. AES, I don't know, let's do uh, some stupid graph. Let's say, what to do? Let's, let's create an age learning profile. So X is age, Y is income. Was income with big I or small I? I don't remember anymore. Let's hope it was with big I. Plus and geom smooth. I control entered it, but it doesn't didn't work because I uh, you need to so that it, if, if if you want to work it so that it is with control enter it would work. Then I need to run these previous chunks. Now we created this PIAC subset. And now I can control enter it and it shows me this, this graph. Let's add something else here. Let's add plus labs. And I'm going to say that title is, and now a new concept that I think I haven't taught you before. If you want to put strings together, then you would use paste paste function paste so i'm going to paste together two things uh, h earning profile or comma and then this parameter that i that we created uh, what gender selected H earning profile for male. So again, so what I use now, I use the function called paste and paste. Let me, let me, let me do it to you. Let me show it to you here. So paste A comma B puts together A and B. It leaves by default, it leaves a space between these things. If I want to select, if I want to change this behavior that what it puts in between these strings then i would say separator is and for example empty string and now it would put together a b just like this so this is a new but very very useful function that you would use a lot can you tell me please explain again what is the use of paste uh, function and what? the graph can you explain it again what is the use of paste function in the graph like what is the space doing in the graph so Why what i'm putting actually... together i'm putting together two strings i'm putting together a churning profile for and then this gender selected this is the gender selected is 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 you see this params dollar gender this is comes from this params i have give, given it a parameter the gender is male so if you run, if you knit it now, if you knit it now, if you knit this now, then you see what it, it does. It gives you a graph. It gives you a graph which says age earning profile for male. It, it puts together this age earning profile for, and then this, this string, this, this parameter. So age earning profile for male. Paste just puts two strings together. It it puts it puts them ne next to each other. It creates one string, which is which is which is the you know the well two strings busted together. So it created this this uh, title here that H N profile for May. We are later going to say, well, if I, for example, if I want to now change this parameter, then I can go up here and I can change this gender from male to female. And knitting it, it now does the same report, but it does it for females. You see, now I knit, I change the parameter to female, and now it does it for females, the same report. A churning profile for female.
do you get this do you also get this result like i do or, or is anybody anybody in some kind of trouble here if you can are you in, trouble, in the then last then... step yes can you repeat this last step what you did i changed the palms gender i changed it from male to female uh, Pazant, what kind of problem do you have? Write, write in the chat the problem you have. I, I don't want to lose you because the next step I'm going to do is you need this. You need this to work. When I on the code, the software asked for you asked me for the shiny package. I don't know what's the reason. You don't need shiny package actually, but you can install uh, shiny as well. Yeah, right now, you don't need there's shiny. some either on my screen which is asking for shiny. Something is asking for shiny. Yeah. Well, install it. Doesn't. Okay. I don't know why. Install uh, package is shiny. Yeah. All all packages, install and 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 shiny right here shiny okay. and packages install shiny and install it and i don't uh, Bazant, did you write this write csv or the so opiac you read csv console enter then write csv and then load it so first of all we read in piak console enter then we write it and then we read it in again. Um, I have a question. Do we need to write dot csv and read dot csv again because we were not doing it in earlier sessions? So if we do not give these twenty two and twenty three line codes, then it will not form the graph. Uh, well, the problem why I why I, I first I read in PR from the internet. Yeah. Then I wrote it as a. As a to the file and then I read it in and then I commented out the first two lines so that when you now run it then it doesn't download it from the internet anymore no um I get your point so is it necessary to download it in the co computer locally can we do it from the internet file only the way we were doing earlier you can you can do it from the you can download it from the internet as well but then every time you click knit it downloads again from the internet so it takes some time so the only reason i did this is that it should not it should not take take more time okay. Pazant, then just uh, just uh, leave in only this download from the internet then it doesn't find the file in the correct correct location from some reason i think that you might have might no, the code actually looks looks all right. I don't know why it shouldn't read it in then. It is working for me. Yes, it should it should work. It's now working for you. What? It's working. It's working now, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But so for someone I think it still did not did not work. Now, but uh, okay. So what I want to show you now is Hagop, what kind of error do you have? Did you create this PIAC subset like this? So what you need to do is you need to you need to add this this chunk into your code. Then it creates this PIAC subset. Exactly, come on, look at this. And 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 now when you when you knit it, then it runs this code from start to end. It creates this PIAC subset and it creates this ggplot. If you want to, you know, do control enter here, then you need to first run previous chunks. You see, there is this button which run all chunks above. It runs the previous chunks. Uh, Hagop, uh, did you do this PIAC subset like I like I like I like I recommended or not even recommended, but I asked. 
then you should get it. I'm going to copy paste this code for the for this for this ggblot call as well. It should it should do it. It should create the graph. So let's assume this is now our report. Actually, you 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 will write you know a big report and you will write a lot of things inside there. But let's assume this is our report. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to create a new file, new file R script. Save this report. Control S, you have to save it. It is session nine RMD. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get file, new file R script. Save it as session nine again. And 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 I'm going to write the following following code in here. Let me let me let me think what it uh, need to write here. So first, let's read in library R Markdown. Control Enter. And then render. And this render needs to know what document it is going to render. So session nine dot. Sorry, it has to be inside this quotation marks. Session nine dot r rmd. This file that we created. comma params is is a list gender is made comma output file is and let's now create the output file so that it it uh, let's let's so output file let's let's first create it like this is mails dot html and let's close the function let's close the function So when you control enter it now, when you control enter it now, what uh, what was wrong here? Sorry, it was session nine. It was small s here. When you control enter it now, then what it does, it it runs this, it runs this, it 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 creates this HTML, with so that gender is made. And it creates a file mails.html, which is this report about mails. Now, let me let me let me let me make it a little bit little bit more complicated. I'm going to write an R on four cycle here now. Uh, let me show you how a four cycle in all in all works. Actually, uh, let's 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 write it here. So a four cycle in all works like this: four and this parenthesis e or whatever parameter you want to have. Let's call it e in. Now this in is not percent in percent, but it is just in. And now some vector, for example, I don't know, male, female. And now the body of the cycle. So what I, I'm going to tell it for E in first male, then female, 
for example, what we should do, we should do it. Let's let's cut E. Let's print it. Let's print it out. So a false cycle is like this. I am giving a variable, a value in this vector that comes after this. First, it is getting the first value. And then what is inside the false cycle, this is done. So cut means that it just prints it out. So E is first mail, and I am saying inside here that print out this E. So it prints out mail. Then when this is done, then E is given a second value, it will be female. And now it prints female. So this is how four cycle in R works. It's very, 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 very easy. Now, Let's add a fourth cycle around this vendor. For let's say e percent and so dot percent in vector male comma female. Okay, so fourth cycle is like this. It gives it it there is a variable e. It gives variable E, it gives first the first value, and then it does everything that is in the body. Then it gives this E the second value, and third and fourth and five, fifth and so, uh, so on, this value. And it does again everything that is in the body of this false cycle. This is a false cycle. This is something that is very, very common in programming languages. That if you learn any programming languages, then you, then you, then you will will learn this kind of fall, fall, fall cycles. So E is first male, and it prints male. Then E is female, the next, next, next one. And with E being female, it does everything that is in this body. So right now, it doesn't do anything else, but just it prints it out. So it prints out female. If I would put, put, put here some other things, for example, cat, and now run it. Then it first prints male, then female, then cat, male, female, cat. So it gives this E a value. Then it does everything here with this value. Then it gives E next value. It does everything. Then it gives E the third value. It does what the body says, and then it ends for a second. Not enough. What do you think? Is it a little bit better now to understand it? It may take if you haven't uh, haven't used programming languages before, then it, it it might be it might be a bit hard to understand. But it is actually it's actually not so. It is it's something that if you have used programming languages, then it is is, is very easy. Because you have used this kind of concepts before. So why do we need this for? Uh, what is the use of this? Like where do we use this? I am going to use it now here in this, in this, uh, in this. You see, I am going to write a for cycle for e in male and female, and then I am going to. Oh, sorry. I am going to. You see, I am going to. What is wrong with my keyboard? I'm going to put this render inside the body of this false cycle. And now, you see, here I told that gender should be male, but I'm going to say that gender should be E now. So first E is male, then E is female. And for the output file, I'm going to use this paste function again. Paste e comma dot html comma set is empty string. So separator is, is no separator. So first, when this for cycle is run, oh, and one more, one more this. 
First, when this fall cycle is done, then E is made. So it it is going to run this this my my this report so that gender is made. And it's going to write the file which is male.html. Then the gender will be female. And it's going to write the file female.html. So if you run this cycle now, what I, what I did, I am going to copy paste it so that you do not do any mistakes here. Uh, if you run this whole cycle, then what it does, it first creates a report for males. And then it creates the report for females. And it's going to save them as male.html and female.html. So now it's sorry, sorry, let me let me confirm two things. Yes. For I in this vector, right? You are trying to say it should always spray as long as I comes out as the output of I is male, female, or cat, it should continue to print this, right? You should continue to print the output as long as it's yes. it's within the three, as three long as, uh, arguments. Exactly. Okay. Then the render, I want to this paste. Is it equivalent to loading in uh, when you're not using markdown? You see, it I, I didn't hear your last question very well. What did you say? I said this render, uh, yes. this paste in render, is it equivalent to load? When you are not using Markdown, it is a it is equi equivalent to this knit button here. Okay, okay. It is equivalent to knit button. You don't have to push the button, but you 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 tell it that hey, render it, render this file that you created. Setting the parameter, which by default is female, setting it first to be male, then it goes you know does this thing that it does it selects only males from the data and does a graph for males. Then renders this file. So that gender is female now. First it is male and then it is female. And it creates a report for females. And it writes it, if you look at it, it writes you this males, H, male HTML and female HTML. So it writes you two reports. One is for males and one is for females. Okay, thank you so much. And this is something that you would find extremely useful because you are going to write one this kind of skeleton or this one report. And then you will go over, for example, you want this report for one year, for another year, for third year, or for one, you know, you, you have this company and you have in companies there are different markets. So you create this report for one market, for another market, for third market. You only write reporting code once, but you use these parameters. You can have multiple parameters. I can have another parameter here. For example, gender is female. Uh, let's say what parameter do I want to have here? Let's say education is is uh, what do we have in Piak? We need yeah education education is secondary so you can have multiple this kind of parameters here and then in the tech in this file you can you can you can you know, for example Piak subset is not only the gender is gender selected but comma education is is education uh, sorry sorry education is palms dollar education so to accept to access these parameters you have to write palms dollar and then this parameter name can we change this to like a, a function as well yes like we put parameters for instead of read CSV, we want to use read Excel. Yes, you can. You can do. You can do. Uh, or, is it, or is it only limited to strings or integers? It is limited to strings or integers, but you can say that, for example, 
uh, read, I am going to create a parameter read Excel, and it is, let's say, true. And yeah. now you can, you can, you can, you can write here that if read Excel is equal to true, then do some Excel magic. Else, if read Excel is not equal to true, do. But why are not you are not using params dollar read Excel here? Exactly, you are right. You are right. You are right. I showed. Yes, exactly. Okay. You are already right. Okay, okay. Do some other thing. Okay, okay. That's I mean very useful. Thank you. Yes. So you can add these parameters to uh, to uh, to your uh, to your uh, uh, all markdown code. You define these parameters and you define the they uh, they default values but here with this render function you can add you can change these parameters you knit this session night file who is so that gender is not male but it is female and then you create the output file which is the same parameter male or female dot html is it necessary to create output file with different file names or we can create yes, in we, one file you can you can you can have one file name as well but then you are going to overwrite this file all the time yeah because it's a for loop yeah okay makes yeah. sense so you want to create different files this is how i do my work this is how i am automatizing my work so i i have this let me let me let me just show you let me show you what do i want to show you that's very clever <laughs> let, me, let me share my whole screen with you for a for a second uh, it will be my i have a very big screen right now so it will be very big for you but for example you see i have i have report for every country in the world where Estonian e residencies are from. For example, let's look at Cameroon. And I do not do these reports one by one, but I create one report, this. I create one report uh, skeleton, and then with four cycles, I go through all the, all the countries, and it creates me this report for, for every country in the world. Uh, so uh, I have a question like uh, uh, as you suggested that uh, we have to write like we are writing params gender is, is male so if we want to divide it according to like the same data set we want to divide it according to different parameters we have to give that in params we, we cannot just give it here like suppose uh, we want to include gender and we also want to include income so we have to first specify income in the param section and then we can do the render and then it will create the different file. Uh, you can add all kinds of parameters here. You can paste, for example, let me add another parameter here. Let me add a parameter that this, this parameter was, uh, for example, I created a parameter education. So let me say that that education is, it was secondary, let's, let it be high. And let me create an output file, which is not only e, but also e comma i education HTML. I don't know. Sorry, one comma is missing here. I don't know if you understand now what I do, but I am I am I am now creating reports for males and females with high education. Or I can add another false cycle, and now it's going. I'm going to to screw your minds a bit. I am adding another false cycle inside this false cycle for education in 
let's say a vector i comma medium or was it medium or what was it here in the pair right, let me let me take a quick look secondary it was secondary and secondary okay secondary so i'm i am i am creating another false cycle inside this false cycle and now i'm going to say that education is is this education let me let me say let me say education selected and education is this education selected and now what it does and and let me put here not high education but let me put here the e comma edu, edu, education selected comma html so I have two parameters now. I have two false cycles. First, E will be male and education selected will be high. Then it runs it. Then E will be female. Sorry, E will be still be male, but education will be secondary and it runs it. Then E will be female, education will be high. E will be female, education will be secondary. And now when I run it, then it creates there is an education underscore selected exactly exactly it is not so selected so and now when i run this then it creates me four different uh, files male high dot html female high dot html male secondary html female secondary html at least I hope that it would create it. So let me see why it doesn't show it to me. What did I do wrong? You're I'm quitting. There's some kind of problem here. Okay, let me take a look. What problem? You're not outputting from the for loop. Ah, I, you see, I, 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 I had in session nine RMD. I had a, I had a mistake. I, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made one equal sign, not two equal signs. There should be two equal signs. And now when I run it, then it should run and it should create me for, you see, male high HTML, male secondary HTML, female high HTML, female secondary HTML. And if I would open these files, this would have these graphs for these different types of, 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 of groups. This is uh, again. I would say it is extremely, extremely useful if you if you if you need to create your quarterly reports or, or something uh, about different markets or different uh, different. I don't know what. Uh, this is this is uh, this is how you do parameterized reports. You would do a par you would add a parameter into a report, and then in a second place you would render the report, giving it. What parameter do you want it to be? Your life will be will be will be amazing. It will be it will be so easy your life. Ooh. I don't know if I managed to sell you this concept, but this is really something that I do every day. So and actually, what you would do here, you would not say this male and female. I am not when I do this uh, for all the countries in the world. Then I am not writing these countries are uh, in here. I am I am for example for e in so unique. One question: What's yeah. the result of this uh, running code when we run this code? The result or output would be the left, the right side, the the new folder. Yeah, here. It will write it. So the same folder where you saved your your RMD file. Yeah, but when you open it, it's like a HTML uh, file. Yes, because I created now HTML reports. Oh, okay. So it is HTML report about females with secondary education, HTML report about females with higher education, HTML report about males with secondary education. Uh, so this is this is what it does. But what you usually do, you do not write this in yourself, male and female. You yeah. see what I did here. I say for E in unique PIAC gender. Unique PIAC gender shows all the values of 
gender can take. It can take a male or a female value. So this is a vector of two values, male and female. It first is male, then it's female, and then it then it does it. Or for the education selected in unique the arc education, then you don't have to write this this in yourself. And now when I when I run it, then it does it. What did I do wrong now? What did I do wrong? Okay, I know what did I do wrong. I had one one just missing. So now it runs. Oh no, something is still wrong. In unique PIAC gender, closing it. Education selected in unique PIAC education. So we choose it is capital or e capital or e capital. Education. I mean education. Okay, it runs actually. I did something wrong before. You know, yes, e capital e. So this is this is now it creates now it creates this uh, this this reports about every gender and every education level. So so this is it. Now let's have a five minutes break. Let's okay. have a five minutes break and then yeah. I will continue. Okay. Good. You are muted. It's better now. Yeah, we well, can hear you. So we are back and what do we what I want to we have actually learned a couple of useful concepts today. So first was this paste function. Paste function which puts together five strings. So one so apple, orange, and dinosaur creates me a new string, apple, orange, dinosaur. If I don't want to have these spaces between this, then there is one parameter, separator is an empty string, nothing separator is nothing, and then it is apple orange dinosaur. It's one word, apple orange dinosaur. Then we have looked at four cycle. So four E in vector, one, two, three, four. Then the body of four cycle. And now with this body, we do something. For example, we, we can say that cut, which will print out the E, e uh, let's you post it together, paste, E, comma. And now what I'm going to write here is new line. So to write a new line, it is like this. It is this, this, this uh, I don't know how to say it. It's this sign and then N. So it will now, first E will have a value of one. It will go into here and it will print out E and new line, one and new line, two and new line, three and new line, four and new line. Let's try it. One, two, three, four. So this is what this fourth cycle does. And Israel asked me to talk a little bit more about functions, so how to create functions in R. And I'm going to go over these functions and all now for the next 20 minutes or so, or 10 minutes. Let's see how, how long it, uh, like, uh, uh, Hakop, you are, okay, you send me loop. Yes, this is a for loop, exactly. This is for loop, it's a loop. It goes, goes, goes over this, this, these things. Uh, and now I'm going to talk you to you about functions a bit again. So I'm going to create a new functions. Function, what should this function do? Let's say it's, I, it, 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 it adds three, or let's say it multiplies by three. So I'm going to create a function multiply by three. And I'm going to say that this is a function. Now, you remember functions have parameters. So I'm saying that it has a parameter x. It is a function with one parameter x. Now, 
the function body and the function body comes like 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 this uh, like this uh, this uh, what is this this is uh, curly brackets so inside these curly brackets i am going to now i can i can i can uh, i can deal with this x so let's say that i say that answer is x times three and return answer And when you now select it and do a control enter, then you have a new function created. Function that requires one parameter, it requires one argument, it requires argument x. So let's try it. Multiply by three, x is three, or let's say two. Control enter, and it is six. So this is how you create functions in R. It is a, it can't get any easier. You can create your own functions, you can create your own commands like this. For example, let's create, let's create something useful. Let's create a function that downloads a file from my, from my, like you remember, it's always bad to write this HTTP, blah, 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 blah. That downloads a file from my, uh, from my university account. So this would be like this. Download file is a function. And now let's say it needs one parameter. It is file name. And then let's create the function body. So let's do it like this file to download is paste http comma what should we paste it here file name and 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 uh, separator is nothing you see what i create here i take this file name as a parameter as an argument and i put it together this http www .wwwute i put it on top of it i put this file name on top of it i i create a new string and now i'm going to download it so Result is read.csv file to download and return result. So first it creates the URL, URL. it creates this, it creates this uh, file address and then it reads in this file address. And then it returns as an answer, it returns this read in file. So if you read this file in now, this function in now, then what you can do is now you can do like this that piak is download file piak.csv and it reads this piak well let, let's just write it to the control it, it downloads this it, it takes this piak csv's file name it adds it to this www.te it downloads it and it gives me the result it gives me the downloaded file so this is actually well let's say piak eng this is in estonian you don't speak estonian most of you so download file PRK and G, and it downloads uh, it downloads this this English English version of PR. Now uh, try to create try to create one function for yourself. So try to uh, create a function which has 
two parameters, not one, but two. Uh, and it, uh, I don't know what should it do, it divides the first parameter by the second and gives an answer. So try to create your own function now. Look at how we created function. You first, you name the function. Then you say that function, it's function, then parameters. Now it has one parameter. To add another parameter, you would add, add comma and, and, and another parameter. And then inside the function body, you can, you can use these, these data objects. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes, five minutes, five minutes for this, uh, some minutes for this. So I wrote it actually, I wrote it here. So I created a function divide. I said that it is a function that needs parameters A and B. Result is A divided by B and return result. So if I use this divide function now, then when you, when you control enter it, then you can use this function saying that A is 10 and B is two. And it will give you an answer of five. Then divided by two is five. So we have covered four loops. We have covered the basics of functions. Now you can, by the way, you can give functions. You can give default values. For example, if I want a function that B is by default is two, then now this divide function only needs a divide a is 12 now b is 2 by default so it divides 12 by 2 and the answer is 6 but i can also change the b b is by default it is 2 but i can change it so that let's say b is 3 and now the answer is 4 12 divided by 3 is 4 Ooh. This is how you write your own functions. This is how you can create new packages. You, if you write the number of good functions, then you will add them to a package. Then you can upload this package, and and and, and everybody else can can use your amazing function. Sven, what else should I cover today? Okay, okay, let me, 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 let me talk about a couple of things that I have not touched before. Um, 
Uh, but Sven, you want you asked me to, to to talk a little bit about creating functions. How do you think? Do you now uh, understand? Yeah, like I think uh, we can practice functions and then let you know if we have any doubts in the next session. I was wondering if you can cover loops and uh, the other part of deep layers. Like if we can finish deep layer today. Deep layer is actually finished already. So deep layer is that that I have given you the main parts of deep layer. I am I am happy with with what I have given you to remind you that there are these basic verbs, the main, most important verbs of deep layer were. Deep layer main my main verbs were there. Select, select filter group by mutate. Summarize and mutate. If you know these verbs, you can you can get amazingly far. And then there are other other things like a range, and and what what uh, Isaiah showed you transmute and others. But but I don't consider them to be so important. These are the main these are the main 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 verbs of of, of this life. Now, one thing that I haven't showed you very, very much is uh, how to get inside a data frame using SQL brackets. And I want to show you it because, because uh, it is sometimes very useful. For example, if I look at names PR, it gives me a vector of names. Uh, sorry, I am I have an Estonian version of PR right now. The fall cycle I showed, this is loop actually, fall, fall loop. So, this names piak gives you the names of, of the, of, of, of piak. Now, if you want to see the first element of it, then you would go like this. This is the first element, sequence ID. You want to see the second element, this is the second element. Now, there is one very neat feature. You can overwrite this second element like this. Names be arc second, it was H. Let's write it with big letters, H now. And this is how you can change the names of, uh, of data, data, data set very easily. You see H is now we speak A G A. Then, and and this is like actually what you can do with everything in in R. That if you go into the data set, for example, Piak income gives you everyone's income. So the first person's income is Piak income. First, it is not available. But what if I want to overwrite it? What if I want to change? I want the first person to have income of of I don't know. 500, 400, let's say. You see, I overwrite it. I write 400 into the position one of the art income. And it's it's now it's now 400. If you look at the head PIAC income, now it is it is it is it is 400. The first first position. You can also what 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 do I want to show you now? You can also You can also select everybody whose income is bigger than 500. For example, like this, the arc income, then this, 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 uh, this uh, marks. And I am going to select everybody whose PIAC, whose income is bigger than, let's say 1000. And now it would show it to me. Now it shows you all the incomes which are bigger than 1,000. If I want to write something else to it, I am going to write, for example, now everybody whose income is bigger than 1,000, I am going to change the value to, let's say, 2,000, or, or let's say, very big income. And now, now everyone whose income was over 1,000, I have overwritten this now. So that the, the value of their income is now very big income. So head, the income. 
uh, it automatically converted all the incomes to to characters now because I I overwrote it to with, with character type variable. So you remember all the all the all the all the values of one vector have to be the same type. So if you view Piak now, you view Piak, then you see that this income variable income variable is for some people you see it is very big income here so this person had an income more than 1000 instead of 1000 instead of this income i have overwritten it to its very big income it, it can be uh, this guy the guys here as well sometimes it's it's very useful um i have a question so now that we have overwritten um the income greater than 2000 as very big income so now it will show income as corrector kind of uh, yes like so now if we want to do analysis so then it won't be able to do analysis because it will recognize it as corrector so then how do we give command to uh, like uh, now you have a problem but you what you can do now is you can convert it back to numeric PIAC income is as numeric PIAC income but then this very big income, this becomes not available because it cannot convert it to normal. So you are now screwed. Now you have to learn read in the PIAC again if you want to do some analysis. But now it is normal again, but very big income is 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 not is not um, is not is not available. You have lost these values. Okay, uh, as I told you today, I, I, I did not prepare for today's uh, lecture much, not at all. So I do not have this kind of plan for today, but, uh, but I think that I have covered these things that I wanted to cover. I wanted to show you the, how to create, how to create uh, parameterized reports. I wanted to show you how to create four loops, and I wanted to show you how to, how to, uh, create functions you know I have showed it to you next time I'm going to start to is a completely different thing I think I'm going, going to start you how to run regression analysis you know and next time will be next week Ishwen, what was the day uh, it was Monday and Thursday Monday and Thursday, yes. Next Monday and next Thursday, I'm going to show you how to do some real statistical analysis with R, how to model data, how to how to do the regression analysis with R. I don't yet know how how basic I will make it to be, whether I will show you mostly the technique or whether I will also introduce you my understanding of regression analysis. Uh, I will, I will, I will, I will see. Sure. I guess it will be a mix of them that I will tell you about what I think about regression analysis and also I will gonna show you how to how to do it in R, how to present your results in R, how to visualize regressions. Uh, and then at the very last thing, I will also show you how to do machine learning in R. And machine learning actually it's 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 extremely easy in R. It's 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 surprisingly easy to do machine learning in R. So I'm going to do you a demo session where I'm going to do some machine learning, machine learning, and show you how it is how it is done. Does anybody have any question for today? Uh, 